finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? I, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Ryan. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick! Just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. Big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come uh, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old-fashioned shootout, first prize, Peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on! All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you're actually- Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes, got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? It was... It was okay. Hey! Attaboy! So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah? Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. Wait, no, no, no. Hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obvs. Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Nice shot. Lucky. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Ooh, what's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop. Peanut butter, butter. Pops. Okay, I get it. I get it. Blam, you thought this was over? What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Okay, new idea, party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? 
How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So like normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can like make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's how so. Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, uh, um, I... Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> Oh, right, okay. Um. Uh, Abby, oh my god, just pick someone. Okay, okay, um. Uh, I don't know. Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Caitlin, shall we? Always happy to please. All righty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Caitlin. What do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, that's kind of a boring question. Got an answer. Well, the answer is, I don't know. That's the truth. Sorry. So, guess it's my turn. Nope. What? I smell bullshit. Okay, fine. You got me. I wanted to be a street performer. <laughs> no way. Well, um, <laughs> a street performer? You mean like, um, <laughs> like... No, asshole. Like a mime, or you know, one of those statue guys that move when you give them a dollar. Caitlin is a mime? Yeah, no, I just can't imagine that. Thanks, Ryan. Well played. Now it's my turn. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob?
Thank you, Nick. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Bargeezy? What? I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? You return without any more of my cards, yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again, you can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Anybody, stupid, stupid. Oh, great, where the hell am I? Nick! 
Abby? Shout again. I'm over here. I'm coming. Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh... You ran off, huh? <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Should we look?
Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found me that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you. I can't believe you, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! Frenched, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> You, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sourpuss, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing, never mind. Hey, that's mine! Yeah, well, finders keepers. I'm getting it back tomorrow. <sighs> Fine! You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, or... You can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite... Not long ago. Wonder if it was near here. Track it and thack it, huh? Oh, well, track it must mean. Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is Thackett?
no towels. None? There's exactly zero. You dick. God, what the hell? These numbers. Whoa. Someone up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry, or you know, we could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because, you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. Hurricane Jake? <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> hey! Switch! Oh, stop being a uh, rock! Uh, attack! Dick move. Okay, hey, look, <clears throat> check this out. Uh, okay. <sighs> Take a picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, for your like um, little subscribers or whatever, top 10 guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Oh, so I get nine more? What? Over here! Did you hear that? What? 
what? Uh, it was like a, like a scream. And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just, just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously? That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... I... I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh... We gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Where's Nick? I... Go after Nick! Go! Okay, I got this. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Go. 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 Go.
Uh, get back to the fire. Uh, uh. Girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Seems like just a blink, and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes truth. The tower. Jump free of your troubles, fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves, but Often, when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. 
Would you like me to show you? Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... <sighs> oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Well, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. Where's Abby? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... What the hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Jack, Jack, yeah. Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Oh, because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. before the infection spreads. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. I know how to use it. Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. Well, if you were aiming for a cluster of threatening branches, you sure showed them what's what. Sorry, I, I just kind of lost it okay. a little bit. It's okay. Just maybe try not to waste the ammo next time you get freaked out. Ah, damn. Yeah, you're right. So what, we're thinking it was just the wind or something? Because still a little freaked out, you know? Yeah, the wind. Let's go with that. Great. Going with it. All right. So, uh... Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Oh, fucking fuck! Ah! What the hell, man? You almost shot me! 
I didn't know it was you. Sorry. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with you? Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. Jacob, where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ, um... I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Well, no, I just... I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know, it's, it's probably nothing. God, I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks. Both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. tonight brings okay here's a riddle for you what's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark this fool well one available thumb okay and it was here strange uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back, because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Oh, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> no nope. prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Yeah. This island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, 
I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, love. A metaphor in the narrative by means of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick, but it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool though, they're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But 
I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. There's something up there, and it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an encore. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is 
I don't know, has their scent or something. What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's going to track them down? I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is going to get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Cops. With guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are, so it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now, and we really need backup. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. You gotta be fucking crazy if you think I'm gonna go out there without something to defend myself. It's more of a safety concern. Oh, do you think I'm gonna shoot my eye out? Or your whole head. Don't be a dick, man. I know how to use this. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you.
should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Oh, my God. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Bolt, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. I'm a much better shot than you. Man. You don't know that, okay? I might be an amazing shot. I might be. Just give her your gun. <sighs> No, fuck that. I'm keeping it. Dude, if those hunter guys come back, she's basically a sitting duck in here. You're being really selfish right now. It's not a good look on you. No, I'm just being safe. I can't believe you're being such an asshole right now. Look, you don't tell me what to do, man, okay? I'm sorry, but it's it's not gonna happen. What are we even what are we even talking about? Just give her the gun. We don't need it. We already have a gun. Fuck. Dude, why don't you just give her your gun? I can't believe you're being such an asshole. <laughs> right back at you, Buster. Seriously? Is this worth fighting for? No, not with your argument. Oh, okay, so now you just want to win the fight. Not cool, man. Not cool. Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> a time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. 
Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? How are you holding up? I'm... Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right. They're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um... The... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so... Just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out.
No sign of him. When you find him, let him. And keep me posted, Bobby. So this may not be like the best time per se, but like. What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? Oh, I'm sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick, I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean, of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen, though. Uh, um... I you can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> You're just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> what is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay, I got this. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Quick. Radio? I thought it was just like for your morning announcements. Oh yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything, and you know, nowadays. Everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. 
Technology. It giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJing or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Um... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool, it's fine. <laughs> Um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. Something like that could really take your hands off. What is this doing at a kid's summer camp? I don't know, man. That's... It wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then... We would have noticed that, right? Well, whatever it was trying to catch, you can't now. That's why Nurse Kelly went home early. Dude, 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 it's this.
All good? Uh, give me a minute. All right. Huh. All good? Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's... Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's going to need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, w uh we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident, attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is uh, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that... Swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears, but... Oh my god. Alright, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure.
Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to. Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Huh? Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Out. Out. Holy shit, they're talking about us. Fuck, 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 what the fuck, man? How? Because we just told them! On the fucking radio! Fuck! They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit, shit, fuck. Hey, hey, let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? You know, I have no idea. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? What is that? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get into a cabin now. Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Uh... Well, we gotta... Do something, come on. Okay, is there anything we can do? I don't know, I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh, well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing like a dog, maybe, it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it, and, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but you know. Do it. Okay. Okay, come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um. Come on. It's almost. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah, right. So, there's, there's something missing. I do. What's missing? Oh, it's getting closer, it's getting closer, it's getting closer. Open the door! Yeah! Oh, shit. It, it's attacking the cabins. It knocked out the wire. Okay, uh, uh, fix it. I'll cover you. Oh, shit. Hey, 
Lasso! Is it safe? I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on up there? It just attacked us. Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Dylan made some sort of crazy feedback loop, and it scared it off. Ah, it was nothing. A feedback loop? Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then they would have sensitive hearing, so... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> if I would... You're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. The devil. Without restrictions, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demons unleashed. Each of us have one. Even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. Here we have the Hermit. With the Hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection, too. Perhaps given some thought. The hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? Two futures to see, but only one can be seen. Make your choice.
We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Jacob! Emma, is that you? That bodes ill. Fucking hell. There's something on here. Jesus Christ! Oh. oh my God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. You left me back there, you asshole! Oh, God, Emma, come on! Oh. Oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like... Bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? Oh, don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. No, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters 
running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. What? Look, don't ask. That fucking thing bit me, dude. Really need Caitlin to look in it. I. Wait, it bit you? That little scratch? Oh. I, uh. Could have sworn it was much bigger before. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Hey, I'm trying to keep us alive. I've been doing pretty good by myself. What? I don't need you to rescue me. I'm not going to suddenly fall in love with you just because you're my knight in shining armor. You know... I wouldn't be surprised if you set this all up. Oh my god, what?! Run! Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. No, I mean, with the body. <sighs> That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee, yeah, I thought so too. Oh man, poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. No. Nick, what do you... I want to taste you. Hey! Come here, huh? Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off! Ugh, watch out! I said get off!
I... I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. Try to rest. I'm sorry. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? Easy, man. I mean, like, photos. Whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling the cops are not gonna want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on... If you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Caleb is. This place was so different, like, 12 hours ago. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like, uh... He was like a fish out of water. Right. Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit, or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Hmm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? 
hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Like me. I don't know what's going on with you right now, but I like the old Nick better. I knew it. I knew it. You didn't like me at all, Dave. That's not what I said. Why won't you tell me the truth? I am telling you the truth. I only hung out with you because you seem so desperate. Poor, pathetic little Abby, ready to throw herself at the first guy that came along. Easy pickings. Right off the bloom. This isn't you. I mean, this, this isn't you. I... <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, Abby! Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. No! 